Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate 2. Um, so last time, uh, we done the first two floor of the moon. Uh, we are heading uh, to the last one. And I figured out that... Um, I looked around a little bit for what may be causing these... Uh, still problems with... Uh, uh, enemies running into walls and stuff. So I hope I fixed it now with uh, changing from uh, full uh, to, to windowed mode. That seemed to be the fix. I don't know. We'll see if it works. <laughs> maybe it, uh, it could be a resolution thing. So it could maybe downscale resolution. That's a possibility. Maybe refresh rate. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, let's uh, continue. At least. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So one thing um, immediately is that we have our uh, companion not available so what i actually want to do first is go to this uh part here because if this one is the card uh where we can let get our last four conspirators it could be <laughs> that we're uh, losing them and I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that so let's see if this uh, takes one of the counter of my companion it does good we're go back the other way so it takes uh, five gold but now we can get Go, go over here and be fine. First things first though, we're gonna have to take some food here. So before we run out of money, let's get some food. Oh, that's uh, five food. It's not great, but it's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all these items now, so selling them, not worth it. And our equipment, oh yeah, that's a nice help, fair enough. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we made the right decision here. Okay, no, it's fine. Corrupted city. Okay, so we're going to fight some corrupted. Um, that's all fine. Right, while well, climbing the battlements encircling the city, you hear a choking sound followed by a terrified scream. Panic tourists hurry past you, covering their mounts. Yeah, it's a squad of soldiers. Again, so, light of affliction, perfect. Okay, let's see what the corrupted do. So <laughs> it's, it's an immediate test, so that's nice. Oh, the Empire never trained me for this. Well, doesn't look right. They seem to be heading towards the <laughs> edge of the arena, so obviously that didn't work. So after this, I'm gonna go into the settings for a bit and see if I can uh, fix this. Because sure, we're winning, but are we? <laughs> we literally only have to do like I don't know, hit them while they're not doing anything. This is. Uh, not really challenging, is it? Like, I'm getting complacent a little bit too, you know? I don't know, maybe it's refresh rate? I'll see what I can do. It's interesting. I did not know the execution actually got a... Like, if you look at this, it has some AoE stun effect. I wasn't aware of this. Look, these guys literally attack. Oh, that one attacked once. It was almost like, what's the button for dodging again? Because, uh. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, let's uh, get some food here. That'd be great. Okay, extra equipment. That's great. Brewing Blade is Shadows. Right, we found that out already. I'm probably gonna buy this. I don't want the fame or the defense. But uh, this sells for a lot. So this is our uh, little piggy bank. No. Nope. Perhaps you can this. master the honor that comes with a headdress. Okay, life gain, that's fine. Back to the bones. Um, I hope you have learned to be their master. So six or higher, I believe rolling two is a pretty good chance. There we go. A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Okay, and now the 15 roll, which is always a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's re-roll these. The 5 is fine, so a 10, that's a 4, 6, 5, 5. That's 3 or 32, it's like 10% chance we got this, so we don't. Oh wait, I forgot, we have 3 rolls. Still though, I would have... Okay, perfect. <laughs> let's throw double, double sixes. Pretty good. It doesn't really do much, actually, because our fame is ridiculous. We have 58 fame. So, fate's toll there. Um, 
Right, so first things first. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's, let's put it at 120. Oh, we don't have to restart for this. Okay, so maybe this changes a little bit in the in the battles going on here. We'll see. Corrupted bro, that's that's the thing we need. So I'm happy we uh, got our dude. Uh, we got our um, companion back up. So we were right about that on that account. Anyway, you arrive at a walled off section in the city. The makeshift barriers are taller than three men. <laughs> Somebody bangs on the wall from the other side, startling you. A desperate wailing pierces through. Maker, please, Maker. Please, let us out. Passerby are pointedly ignoring the wills and scream. Only a lonely man kneels against the barrier, head in his hands, weeping. Um, well, we're definitely going to agree here, but... The man notices your approach and trips over himself, babbling. Golden hair, short, she always wears a yellow scarf. Malena, please, please get her out of here. Agree to go into the corrupted bro or <laughs> leave the man and let her, yeah, no, do, her, do her do her fate. Yeah, no, we're gonna go through. With a running leap, you mantle the makeshift barrier. You land in the burrow much like the others, except that this is deserted and there is a body at your feet. The body does not wear a yellow scarf. This poor soul is not Lena. Uh, there's a groaning noise coming from somewhere ahead of you. So we're definitely gonna go for the groaning noise, I think. I think we can uh, get the option to explore further, but let's uh, go to the groaning noise first. In the center of the burrow squats a pulsating mass of corruption. The crystallized growths sprout from its surface. Inside the affected horrors gestate. With a shudder, the crystals crack apart and the infested creatures emerge from their cocoons to defend the cluster. The pack swarms to protect a grotesque obsidian pillar, blanketed in an otherworldly miasma. So that's the spire. Well, we're not gonna leave quietly. It's like, let's go. Okay, let's see what these guys do. Oh snap! <laughs> so, these guys seem to do something. They have an automated rep So refresh rate didn't do seem to work here either. Doesn't it? No, I don't think so. They're still running towards that wall down there. It's weird that this that that's how it works. Hmm. Still got hit though. See the attacks. No, I got him out. No. But uh, I guess the down there is another one. <laughs> it seems to be only the corrupted and northerners, though. So the empire's still fine, but. Why are you running? There you go. All right. With the pillar broken, uh, the mass of corruption quivers and erupts, spinning black ooze across the cobblestones. As the dust settles, you notice a crowd of townsfolk staring in astonishment from a nearby house. You approach the ragged bunch. Among them, you spy a golden-haired woman with a dirty yellow scarf. You tell her of the weeping man. She pulls you close and whispers desperately, If you have a way out, please get me out of here. She looks guiltily towards the others. We must leave them. A group this size will, will attract too much attention. So she uh, pledges to her cows. Was it Len Nana, right? Yeah. We're not going to escape. We're going to explore for sure. You hear the happy bustle of the city just over the barricade, but the mood is decidedly more apocalyptic on this side of the wall. A crowd pecks at a body covered with festering corruption boils. 
Okay, explore the borough. You wander the streets of the forsaken borough, past bodies and barred doors. The stillness is disquieting. So, yeah. Patience. Do not move too quickly. Ah, so so haste breeds only failure. Okay. I want to have him on the same thing I am at. Like. This. Yeah, got it. Good. That will set you in good stead from here. Oh, okay. Through the dusty window of a tailor shop, you spy a tweedy little man with anxious eyes. You just you uh, gesture comfortingly, and the man scurries out to join you. So, Fern the silversmith pledges uh, his uh, pledges his service to your cause. So that's good. What should we do then? Explore further? I guess so. Don't think we escape yet. I think there might be another guy. Let's uh, explore a little bit more. Go to the streets of the second world. So it's quieting. Okay, okay, okay. I think if you have the huge failure, you're pretty much screwed. So we don't have a redo this time. So. Ah! So bad. Poorly done. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness. The stone bounces, pains flee of your temple. You turn to face the source and find the glary medite urchin peering at you from the rooftop. The child lifts another stone of that. You duck down in an alley to escape the second volley. So let's continue exploring. So basically we need to get one more uh, great success here. And don't want to get a great for Cut it! Good, 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 good. I'm so bad at these. Most of the building in this des desecrated neighborhood are nailed shut, so you're surprised to stumble upon an abandoned schoolhouse, its doors wide open. It's a small place, chairs are knocked over, books strewn, into the, strewn onto the floor as if its occupants ex exited hastily. So it's not clear actually that you need to do this twice. I think that's why I never got the goal on this, so I actually looked this up because I was one worried like <laughs> we're never gonna get these. Anyway, in the gloom you hear the tinkling la laughter of a child. Instinctively, you unsheath your weapon, but the room is empty. Light filters in weakly from the broken windows. Um, I think we're just going to go for the source of the laughter here, really. Hmm. Now let's find the source of the laughter. You search the darkened corners of the schoolhouse and, uh, and uner uner unearth a hole in the wall, hidden behind the fallen desk. The giggles are coming from somewhere within. You lean in to get a closer look. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's a really small one. Ooh, we got got something. <laughs> Nicely I was, I was like, okay, this is gonna fill. <laughs> you gasp. There's a body in there. A teacher? A father? You cannot tell if he ultimately succumbed to infestation or to violence. Oh, brilliant blade, okay. His hands are clasps, clasped around a weapon. He does not look like a warrior while he was... Was he defending the children? What if we take this? Let's take the weapon. You pull the weapon Perhaps from his hands. Perhaps we'll find this more useful now oh, that oh, new foes use have it. begun to appear. Light filters in weekly from the broken windows. I think we're good here. We don't need to look for supplies, I don't think. I think if we leave, we get our next... Uh, as you turn to leave, you run straight into a thin, bird-like woman standing in the way of the door. I think this is the daughter twin. There were two twins, right? At the uh, first uh, building. The building, the apothecary, I think, at the back was another one. So this is uh, her twin. Yeah. Hello, she nods curtly. I am Janice. My twin is your help. I have heard that you want to destroy the Empire. And now that I see that you are crooked of bro and strong of nose, I believe in your quest. <laughs> So Janice, the twin, pledges her service to your cause. Janice wanders off into the borough. You ask her if she needs help escaping, but she merely waves her hand and smiles. You hear the happy bustle of the city just over the barricade, but the mood is decidedly more apocalyptic. Okay, we've seen this. Escape. Uh, you look for a section of the wall suitable for scaling. I think we have to sneak them over the wall. Um...
Okay, let's sneak them over the wall. Ah! Your investigation is interrupted by a blood-curdling scream. You turn in time to observe a corrupted creature gnawing out a man's throat. So we're gonna fight it for sure. I think, um... Yeah, let's go. You point out the wall in the distance and tell Le uh, Lena and Farron to hurry. You corrupted a swarm in this area. You must finish them off and get Bana back to Lena and Farron before it's too late. So I think you have a timer here. That's this I remember from my uh, playthrough. Like on my own. I am on my own, by the way. So, but it's only a juggernaut. So it's two minutes. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> Okay, get rid of you. Just gonna. Just gonna. <laughs> come on, come on, let me attack. So this makes you immune from the counter t uh, yellow attack. So <laughs> this is actually really easy. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Okay, so plenty of time left, I think. I didn't even check the timer, but I think I should be fine. Alright. You rush back to Lena Farron. They are in the middle of pulling themselves over the wall using a combination of footholds and piled de debris. You push them over and follow before it's too late. You climb down the uh, wall and to the gasp from On Lucas and hear an astonished cry of joy as Lena and her beloved are reunited. Tolan the Weaver pledges to serve to your cause. Fair and bitch, you are nervous for our reaffirms his pledge to your cause before hurrying away into the city, glancing nervously around at the townsfolk. You push past the whispering crowd and disappear back into the city. You know that your action here will place the Empire closer on your trail. So, 12 out of 12. Now we just need to win. <laughs> that's all. Okay, let's see. General store, that's Careful. good. Your supplies are running low. I know. So, don't need any of these anymore. So, that's good. I do need food, though. So, let's buy... Actually, let's sell one of our... Like, Brilliant Blade, we're never going to use this. Right? Proper, maybe. We might use the helm, but this... I don't think we'll use this. I mean, Brimstone... Maybe the ogre at the end is brimstone, but you still want to have a mace for the for the ogre, so we're gonna sell this. Get out of here. The reason we're doing this is so we have a little bit more money to. Uh, I'm probably gonna sell this too. This is also 22 bucks, and uh, yeah, we're not gonna use this. We've got the token unlocked, so. All right, this allows us to get like a good amount of food here. And uh, maybe maybe some equipment. Nah, I think I'll buy more food. <laughs> that's uh, that's I don't know, fifteen food. That's plenty. Leaf. Okay. Oh, this has a dealer token too. So everything here is a dealer token. So let's go right, I suppose. I wonder if we just. I think if we get to the end, we'll just quit. <laughs> yeah, this we're gonna use the mace. There's no um, musketman here. Hope they do not recognize you. It's on top. It's we're still on top, right? No, close though. So yeah, this is pretty much impossible to uh, avoid. So I'm really happy with that store, by the way. That, that helped a lot. These guys can attack me. For sure. Ah! Snap. Oh, 
Ah, that guy is pissing me off. Yellow tax. Come on. <laughs> I think that guy hit me with every yellow tag because I'm just too slow. Why is this guy... Like the Empire's guys are fine. They, they work. Okay, that, that one always hits me too, so... Come on! <laughs> I lost like 60 health here because I can't dodge. I hope I can dodge it uh, when we get to the uh, overdose, because uh, that's gonna be... a super uh, disappointing otherwise. I'm actually gonna swap helms. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the... the knight's helmet here. Because <laughs> I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I don't need the... Um, I don't think there's uh, any of these anymore to worry about. I need only one more though to unlock it. But let's uh, equip it. So if we find the gambit which uses it, we'll uh, we'll get there. But I'm gonna heal a little bit here. Actually, some new equipment here which we haven't seen. No. Mm, finish training. Let's cook like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven food n needed at most. So. We have some uh, leeway. Trading now is excellent. We're gonna trade equipment for food. So three pieces of equipment for food. Four food gate cards sounds fine. We can get rid of... Uh, let's see. Well, do we need to do three actually? I think I'm done with this. But we'll keep it on us just in case. So maybe just the frostbolt actually. This has a chance to get some progress too. too. Oh, we can get rid of this. So two items. Uh, so trade equipment for food. Let's trade two pieces. So that's gonna be this arm. Yup. And this one. Yes. That's uh. Now we have life for days. Now we can also get rid of some food, maybe trade some... Uh, like 8 food for 1 piece of random equipment or 80 for 2. I think 8 for 1 is fine. I knew this uh, we're gonna get. I kinda... yeah, assumed we would uh, get this. <laughs> but that's fine. Now we can check what the next one uh, on top of the pile is here. And it's... Uh, oh, the Death King skills. Wouldn't mind that one. Hmm. Eh, we'll see. Maybe we'll get it. Oh, I want to drink a night again. Yes, I'd like it. So this gives us more food. At the cost of a little bit of life loss, because uh, I'm kind of shit sometimes at this. I love that you can use your uh, artifacts here too. Let's see, uh, the food is up there, there's some food here. I wonder what the hardest of these traps are. Probably the two wheels in a row. Like, this is fine, because there's uh, a space in between. And the fire things are like, just don't stand the fire. Gold. Let's run to here. Okay, that's. I think there's one more chest on the other side there. And there's two chests near the exit. Just like leisurely walk by, by here. Ooh, almost got me. Like, 
for precision, this one's actually good. <laughs> this game isn't really good for precision walking, so... <laughs> That's fine, though. There we go. So, not more uh, gold and food gained here. And, uh, let me refill my coffee a little bit. Here we go. Leisurely stroll through the drunken night. 25 gold, 4 food, 4 fame. 70 fame. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why take chances, right? Let's, let's heal us a little bit. Might need it for... We have our companion now, but we might need it later. Deep water, sure. Sense of greed, greed, anarchist. We're gonna fight. Do we need that? No, we didn't need... Anything here, right? With these guys. I don't think we need any uh, weapon or token here, so. This should be fine. Yeah, go execute one. Oh, good. I've been looking to crack some skulls. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. Oh, wait, let's finish this guy off too. So the, the thieves have no problem either. It's really only the corrupted. Oh, I thought, why did he have yellow? But he wasn't. Oh, he hit me there. That's so fair. So I'm just taking out these guys that actually are a little bit dangerous. As in they can actually do damage. <laughs> If I'm not shit. I mean, they. I love how my companion just stood in there. Like, sure. <laughs> Come on, dodge. Then go to the school of dodging. Dodging good. There you go. No damage. Oh, well, a little bit of damage taken because I was executing something. Oh, extra face. <laughs> so a little bit of. Oh, allies deal twenty percent damage in combat. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can get some. I guess if you really want to, you can. Ah, uh, oh, really again. Well. While we're here, let's use this. Avoid failure. It saves us uh, from going one. So, this gives us a... Uh, I believe this one, right? No, not, not quite. So that's... Thanks for nothing. What do you need to do for this, actually? <laughs> Ooh. Chance card gambits. Well, one day, one day, Muscovoli fortunes. One day. Dress is fine. So, Captain of Steel again. So, Captain of who definitely. On my mark. Seriously, I really tried to dodge that too. It's like I saw it coming like miles away And that one too. I'm not I actually got stuck in animation there, so um, I'm working on this guy, okay Oh, stop He's gonna shoot me in the face in a moment I didn't shoot him in the face. We fight. Hmm. Like I can't say it's my controller now, right? <laughs> Come on. Okay, got it. I lo love it that it this this. This ultimate ability almost one shots these guys. Not, oh well, these are actually kind of close too. Questing Mace, probably one of my favorite. Why is this guy standing there? 
Okay, so very poor fighting. Um, if I had my favorite helm, the one that gives blessing of, uh, when they don't get any damage once per floor. If I had that one, it, uh, I wouldn't have gotten it. So at least we have a little bit of fame. <laughs> 80 fames in three floors is actually kind of ridiculous. Arm wrestling. Okay. Don't have anything boosting uh, rolls, I don't think. So it's only the second one, so it's fine. This is a low target. Yeah, well, I got it one go. It's a little bit of gold. Doesn't do much. I think you need to win the fourth and you need to roll a 16, I believe. It's pretty, pretty tricky. I can actually explore the whole map, see what the other thing is about. Okay, because this is... Oh, there we go! Huh. So you need to roll a 16 here. Uh, eight. I think you need to have her remove three curses. We have only one, this one. Well, I was just wondering, like, when, when are we going to see her? Because <laughs> we got this curse basically on the first floor, I think. And only now we got it. Uh, have we seen the text? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you want to roll through a little bit. So basically, you, you, for every six you roll, she'll remove a curse. So this is one curse gone. This is a shit roll. Okay. Okay, let's feel it. Six, six. <laughs> ah! No, not quite, not quite. Well, one is still enough. So, see ya. See uh, at the end of the fi uh, end of the map. It's actually funny that the last card is uh, yeah. Last card is basically the final fight. So let's see what's going on. Let's cook a little bit of food. This uh, let's go completely max max here. So Dread King skills. We'll probably get that. We're definitely not going to use the Marksman Bane and the Tactical Buckler anymore. So we're going to get rid of this. Rid of this. We could also get rid of this, but let's first buy equipment, but sometimes it changes randomly. So this, uh, yeah, yes, gives us an extra ogre bonus thing here. Or one extra, one towards ogre stuff, and a lot of armor, so 30 armor here. I think this gives two extra on this, so yeah, pretty good. Okay, uh, bear camp, and uh, let's go. The Church of Fires. It is night by the time you arrive at the Church of Fires. Estrel, Estrel's ally, 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 ally. Why can't I pronounce that word? It sounds wrong. Anyway, Estrel's ally waits within the hushed marble cathedral. Enter. Through the flickering candlelight, you walk past row upon row of wooden pews to the front of the temple. Beyond the altar, you climb a uh, you climb a moonlight moonlit staircase until you reach the fast doors these leading. To the west terrace an empire general with gray hair and kindly face greets you ah captain estrella and this must be the mercenary general flint hello at your service general flint hello reviews the blood pledges to your cause flint hello chuckles as he re reads the list old Patton wishes the emperor dead why you have done well indeed <laughs> suddenly a troop, a troop of empire soldiers bursts onto the terrace a chained Ogre trudging behind him. Oh, there are some muskets. <laughs> yeah, I could have changed, but I kind of don't want to die, so that's why I wanted uh, the other one. The soldiers release the chains, and the ogre shudders, its yellowed eyes darting around wildly. Some unknown conditioning prevents him from trying to escape. General Flintholder draws his sword. Stand down, man. Oh, we don't even fight the muskets, I suppose, because of the conspirators. One of the grubbler looking soldiers cries, Flint Hallow, you traitor! Colluding with the assassins? May your death be slow and painful! You draw your weapon? No, I guess not. <laughs> but we have uh, Flint Hallow, or General Steel Boy, who's uh, gonna help us out. So, I feel safe. I think we got this. Alright, so, Ogre Bo there's a chained ogre. Uses damage about four. Okay. To hell with you. I'm first gonna kill these guys. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! I the animation to attack took so long that. 
Let's fly! Fly, you fool. I, lo I love how this guy is just sending arrows. Don't kill F General Flint, hello. We need this. Okay, I forgot how ogre fighting works, but this seems fine. Oh, thanks for the arrow support. Much appreciated. It's uh, very telegraphed, so... Oh man, I was running away from the arch. <laughs> the arrows. So that's... Uh, I hope this counts as a kill on my part though, because I'm pretty sure the arrows did the f uh, killing blow. Can we check? Yeah, well, let's check. Let's check if... Uh, uh, inspect... Yeah, it count. Good. That's one. Alright. As the last enemy falls, Flint Halo is already cleaning his sword and walking swiftly towards the exit. Without breaking stride, he de details the way into the palace. The sewers by the western docks, a gate etched with a bronze sun. You may find passage into the palace there. He grips Estrella's arm and they exchange grim smiles before he turns to you. Guard your, com guard your companions, mercenary. Prepare for the fight of your life. Tomorrow, you kill the Emperor. Okay, so we got the gold one. Mm, there was this one battle where you need to... I think that's Judgment. Where you need to have all your... Um, your main four companions at... at uh, like, complete the quest lines, I believe. So we can't get at gold until we uh, got all of these guys... Uh, like, loyal. Let's call it loyal. <laughs> your mastery of the game is impressive. Anyway, for finding men in the city who believes your rebellion, we get... That's Garden. I have no idea what this is. I don't think I've ever uh, done the moon gold. So, that's good. And we got a lot of, uh, of this good stuff. Let's see. For completing a shot, Ring of Precaution. Okay. And we get... Questing Mace next. Oh no. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's uh, that doesn't have a token. So this is probably the final crossbow type we have. Uh, this is... Yeah, Emperor with questing maze. We have a new questing maze five, and that, that that's uh, well probably something else. Don't know what we haven't seen yet. Maybe it's ogres. <laughs> for deciding to fight for far water, we get the strategist and use contact. So a new uh, lo new thing to do there. So that's good. Okay. So that's that. Uh, the moon gold. So that's another one. Not a pink gold. So now we have two things. We can do the judgment or we can head for the wheel. Um, I have a feeling we sh haven't done wheel in a while. So we we'll probably do that one next. Uh, ooh. It's weird. This loading time takes really long for some reason. Before the thing pops out. So I still don't know why the corrupted are running towards the edges of the map so if anyone knows and can um, tell me what's going on here uh, that'd be great and I think next time we'll do uh, the wheel and we'll save judgment for a little bit and then we have the world so I think it's do these two missions left right I think it's 23 left, uh, missions then we have the adventure to go map my making the servant this one unlocks a new character this one I'm not sure actually. We might uh, do one of these two. Endless, of course. Uh, we'll, I'll try to do doing streams or something because it uh, takes a long time. And yeah, you know. Um, okay, so that's gonna take a while. Uh, first things though, uh, it's a little bit of a service announcement, like public service announcement announcement here. Um, I noticed that King's Bounty 2 is coming out in like two days, so I plan to play that first. So the Hand of Eight. Dice, it's a little tryout to see if everything works. Mostly it does. Only the weird bug with enemies running into walls. Otherwise, it's uh, it's it's going great. I think the video quality is uh, much better too. So that's nice. But uh, so yeah, that's that that means that uh, this is, that uh, hand of fate hand of fate is uh, gonna go uh, uh, a little pause, I believe. At least uh, <laughs> unless until uh, well unless. King's Bounty 2 doesn't work, like uh, 
Heroes of Might and Magic uh, 7 that had serious troubles when it running on uh, my PC. There was some problems with uh, Ubisoft uh, Uplay and stuff, and uh, it not recognizing my computer well. So there's some anyway, it crashed to desktop, so I couldn't use that when it uh, when it was released. Let's hope um, King's Bounty isn't the same. So I really want to uh, play that when it comes out. Uh, I, I'm going to go at it blind. I don't know anything about, about that game other than it's King's Bounty, so it's going to be turn-based combat. So. Different than this, of course, but the turn-based combat is a little bit my, uh, like the shtick of, uh, let's call it the shtick of this, uh, this, this channel, so, <laughs> with, uh, some, uh, sometimes playing games like this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone, and, uh, hope to see you in a few days. Um, it will be recorded, I don't think I'll stream that just yet, so we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye-bye!